Hey guys, I wanted to do another quick video on the 128. I'm going to be showing you the premium air sensor, which is your environmental active catalyst sensor on the N51 motors. So I have a code, it's 88B or something like that. I'll post everything in the description below because I don't have it off the top of my head. And that kind of points to this sensor being out of uh, range or out of gradient so to take it off it, it's kind of like clipped on like that and also super glued in so you take a giant giant pry tool kind of like this a door panel pry tool and you pry it off a little bit and then you take a pick tool uh, I don't have a pick tool on hand but you take a pick tool and you get the two ears off but the ear, two ears might break anyway so just pry those things off and then this sensor comes off. Now, if you want to reuse this, you won't be able to because, well, one, you take it off because it's broken, but two, because there's supposed to be a plastic, like, prong sticking off and you can see how it's broken. It's on the right side. You can see how it's broken and that's because when you install it, it gets installed right there and it gets super glued in also. So you can see the the wire sticking out and all. So that's going to stay in there. There is a BMW part number for this. It's right here. But it doesn't look like you can buy a new one from BMW. So I'm also going to have to do a little bit of research because I believe Volvo, Volkswagen, and Mercedes all have these same radiators, and I believe it's the same system. So you can buy, if, you, if I could buy a sensor from one of those, I will. Anyways, to put it back on, basically all you gotta do is snip off all this extra wiring so this is all flush, and then they give you a second hole, which is that guy right there. You, and you use that second hole as the uh, new location for the sensor. What the BMW, or at least what all data says, is that you can use your second hole, and if you still throw the code, then you have to replace the entire radiator. So, I don't know how much the sensor costs yet, but a new radiator costs about 500 bucks, and that's kind of a lot of money if your radiator is still good. So anyway, here, this is a quick little overview on the Premium Air or EAC sensor on a N51 motor. Thanks for watching.